Whether you like it or not, Chinese cars are here to stay. They might not be the most original, and the build quality isn't always up to scratch, but they are well specced and well priced in a market that's strapped for cash and short of public transport. Enter the Geely LC, a cheap and cheerful compact that wants to prove that there's more to Chinese takeaways than chop suey. Geely may be something of an unknown quantity in South Africa, but it's a big name in China, where it's the largest independent automaker in a pretty large country. Considering that Geely bought Volvo from Ford last year, it clearly has ample resources too. The Geely LC represents the brand's first real push into the South African market, where it has to compete against a gaggle of super minis that includes the Suzuki Alto, Toyota Igo, Peugeot 107, as well as the Hyundai i10, the Kia Picanto and the Chevy Spark. In that context, the LC is hardly original, but it's not exactly copycat either. In fact, Geely will tell you that this car's looks were inspired by the Chinese national mammal, which of course is the panda. And yes, if you look at the front, those bulbous eyes and large gaping grill do remind one of a panda's staring face, if you mix in a fair amount of imagination as well. Still, it's attractive enough in a cute kind of way, and that large front grill sets it apart from the minicar crowd. Even the taillights, Geely says, mimic the footprint of a panda, while the key fob resembles the panda's paw too. Pity then that it can't be called the Geely Panda here, because Fiat already has a car with that nameplate. The 14-inch wheels are alloy and the body is color-coded throughout. Panel fit and paint finish are impressive too. Indeed, there's nothing cheap and nasty about the Geely's exterior execution. But can the cabin sustain that impression? The interior is an acquired taste and it's certainly very different. The two-ton upholstery is likely to get grubby quite quickly and some of the plastics are hard and shiny. But then one should remember that this is a 90,000 Rand car and not a luxury machine. Besides, it has absolutely all the bells and whistles. The standard kit includes everything the motoring heart desires, from aircon and remote central locking to electric windows, power steering, a CD receiver with USB and auxiliary inputs, and yes, can you believe it, park distance control. So it's small and smart, but is it safe? This top-end GT model has ABS brakes with EBD and no less than six airbags. The cabin ergonomics are fair, although the seats could be more supportive. Rear accommodation is cramped, but so are most of the other contenders in this segment. The boot is deep and roomier than expected, but a narrow aperture makes it difficult to access. And then there's the smell, an aroma of plastic and glue that can be quite prominent when the car's been parked in the sun for an hour or two. While most cars in the segment might do with a one-litre three-cylinder engine, the Geely gets a four-cylinder 1300cc engine with twin overhead cams and 16 valves. Power output is 63 kilowatt at 6000 rpm, but the torque output of 110 newton meters is only available at a very peaky 5200 rpm. A five-speed gearbox transfers the engine's urge to the front wheels. The suspension links front struts to a rear torsion beam and braking is via front discs and rear drums. But the proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating, or in this case, in the driving. And that's really where this car is at its most disappointing. It just doesn't feel like a 1300. There's absolutely no low-down torque. You have to rev the motor like mad, and it always sounds a little bit wheezy and uncomfortable. Add the vague gear shift action, and driving the Geely with gusto is hard work. But as long as you use the full rev range, progress is reasonable. Expect a 0 to 100 sprint time in the mid 15 second bracket, while fuel consumption comes to 6.2 litres per 100 kilometres in mixed driving. Handling was predictable, despite over assisted steering. The Geely LC gets a lot of things right. It's well built, nicely packaged, and spec to the absolute hilt. It also costs 20,000 Rand cheaper than its closest rivals. But the picture isn't all rosy. The engine is unrefined, the gear shift is downright awful, and the performance is underwhelming, especially at altitude. However, little else comes close in terms of sheer bang for the buck, and as long as it's properly supported, this could become the first Chinese car to crack it in the super mini sector. Four cylinders for the engine trumps most of the opposition, and both output and economy are impressive, but the power unit is too peaky and unrefined too. We like the exterior build and finishes with the full house safety kit, but some of the plastics remain unconvincing and the Geely could do with more low down oomph.